Welcome to the D-List, the show where I list things and my name begins with a D. Those are the only two criteria for this show. Let's talk about Muppets. The latest adventure of Kermit the Frog and Company, Muppets Most Wanted, is now available on DVD and Blu-ray. And while I didn't exactly count myself, I'm pretty sure it might hold the record for most celebrity cameos in a Muppet film. Some of them are very, very brief, some of them span multiple scenes, all of them part of a grand Muppet tradition. As much as some Muppet fans don't like to admit it, human guest stars have long been an integral part of Muppet projects. On The Muppet Show, the human guest star would draw in different audiences each week, and in return, the Muppets would give them a chance to do weird and delightful things, opportunities they just didn't find elsewhere in their career. And many of these guest stars from the show would return for the movies, sometimes doing an extended comic routine, sometimes bringing their spark to thankless human roles that just need to be filled by somebody, always making a fun game of Spot the Famous Person even when it's a famous person we don't actually care about. And in my years of Muppet fandom, there are some of these cameos that still make me smile, no matter how many times I see the movies. So for your viewing pleasure, I am now going to present my top six favorite celebrity cameos in Muppet movies. But before we get to the list proper, a couple of honorable mentions. These are cameos where the roles weren't particularly interesting, but I have to address the significance of the casting. Edgar Bergen as himself and Charlie McCarthy in the Muppet movie, Jerry Nelson as the announcer in the Muppets 2011, and Jim Henson as a restaurant patron in The Great Muppet Caper. Edgar Bergen, the famous radio ventriloquist, don't question it, was one of Henson's primary influences as a puppeteer, and his very brief cameo as a judge who helps Piggy's career was his final film role. Jerry Nelson was the longtime performer of such Muppet characters as Floyd Pepper, Lou Zealand, Robin the Frog, and Count Von Count. For a number of health reasons, he retired from puppeteering in 2004, with most of his roles taken over by Matt Vogel. But he made a brief voice appearance in the 2011 Muppets film, appropriately introducing Kermit to lead into perhaps the most iconic Muppet song of all, the theme from the show. Nelson since passed away in 2012, but his voice cameo was heard again in Muppets Most Wanted. As for Jim Henson, if you don't know who he is, I think you clicked on the wrong video. This wasn't his final role or anything, but it's part of his feature film directorial debut, and it's one of the very few on-camera appearances he made in a Muppet project. Number 6. Mel Brooks as Professor Craftsman in The Muppet Movie Doc Hopper's latest resource in his attempts to win over Kermit, Craftsman is an evil German scientist, who might still also be Jewish. Drop the electronic yarmulke. He won't know you from kosher bacon. But really, if you need a comedic German scientist, why wouldn't you cast Mel Brooks? Especially in a Muppet movie. I'm pretty sure he's part Muppet already. And in addition to Brooks himself being very entertaining, his scene contains the first of many cinematic piggy fights, so it's a Muppet milestone. Ribbit! Ribbit! Number 5. Orson Welles as Lou Lord in the Muppet movie. The ultimate Hollywood gatekeeper, the final destination of Kermit's entire journey. Has there ever been anyone better to play the imposing face of Hollywood than Orson Welles? Sure, this wasn't during the most Hollywood-friendly part of his career, but hey, he was still a legend. Lou Lord is the fictionalized stand-in for Lord Lou Grade, the man who helped Jim Henson make The Muppet Show possible, so... This cameo is rather symbolic, both in what Orson Welles means to cinema and what Lord Grade means to Muppetdom. But even without knowing the backstory, it's a tiny role, but Wells has absolutely the perfect presence to demonstrate its importance. You feel the end of their journey the moment he turns around. Orson barely even needs to act to be one of the best things in cinema. It's Tracy. Prepare the standard rich and famous contract for Kermit the Frog and Company. Number four. Peter Falk as a tramp in The Great Muppet Caper. Like just about everyone whose childhood was primarily during or after the late 80s, I have a soft spot for Peter Falk telling long-winded stories. In this case, Lieutenant Columbo shows up as that familiar movie trope of the sage old bum who's been through the exact same thing as the hero. And he lays out the story in detail. A story that has absolutely nothing to do with anything. And it's amazing. You cashed in your stock certificates and your insurance policy, and you went out and bought a dry cleaning establishment. Hmm? And as a capper, it turns out this character's not even part of the movie. The tramp just wandered in. A scene that starts out looking like it's filling a familiar cinematic role and turns out to be hilariously meaningless. Have I mentioned I love Muppet movies? 
Number 3. Dabney Coleman as Martin Price, a.k.a. Murray Plotsky in The Muppets Take Manhattan. The Muppets pitched their Broadway show to this producer, who was intrigued by the concept. Songs and dances? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it might be interesting. Although he has trouble keeping up with the correct tone. Songs, dances, shootings. No, no shootings. But then he says they need to pay him to produce the show, and for a split second, it almost looks like this is going to be the film's central conflict. How will they raise the money they need? But it soon turns out that he's actually a con man. The Muppets just wandered into the finale of a completely different movie. Wackiness ensues! Hey, come on, everybody! We're gonna get this show on Broadway! And then the gang just brushes it off and moves on. Coleman is hilarious as the misguided fake producer, especially if you imagine that his next cover identity was Principal Prickly. It's funny because they're both Daphne Coleman. Number two, John Cleese as Neville in The Great Muppet Caper. Why are you staring into the closet, Neville? Wait, 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 wait. Basil left Sybil for Mrs. Richards? Did not see that coming. Cleese and Joan Sanderson play basically every American kid's idea of a bored old British couple. No signs of affection towards each other, and constantly simultaneously befuddled and unflappable. Of course, this is hardly Cleese's only time acting alongside Muppets. What's great is that he gets to stay true to his own comic style. Much of his dialogue here wouldn't be out of place in A Fish Called Wanda. What would you buy if you were bored? Ah! Oh, uh... Jar of Carlsford Jelly? But it's a comic style that meshes really well with the Muppets humor. So it's never a distracting shift of gears from a Muppet sketch to a low-key Python sketch. It just makes me want to see Cleese surrounded by Muppets all the time. Right! I'm leaving. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting Muppets. <laughs> and my number one favorite celebrity cameo in a Muppet film. You've probably guessed by now, because if he wasn't on the list yet, of course he has to be number one. Steve Martin as the sarcastic waiter in the Muppet movie. Martin serves Kermit and Piggy while they're on their first date, and the couple is so inexperienced in the ways of legitimate fanciness that they just don't notice how apathetic, passive-aggressive, and generally terrible he is. This scene is the platonic ideal of a celebrity cameo in a Muppet film. Once again, we have an actor who's already comfortable working with Muppets, and who manages to steal the scene with his own familiar comic style. But it's a comic style that meshes well with the Muppet style. It's not just Steve Martin stopping the movie to do an irrelevant, out-of-place Steve Martin routine. It's a Steve Martin scene through and through, but also a Muppet scene through and through. And it's the scene all other celebrity cameos in Muppet films aspire to be. Those are my six absolute favorites, but... There are so many other great ones I love almost as much. Milton Berle, Peter Ustinov, John Landis, Kristen Schaal, the list goes on and on and on. What about you? What's your favorite surprise celebrity in a Muppet project? Let me know in the comments, and until next time, this is Dave, signing off.